Hey Raven, did you hear about the superb owl on the internet this week? You mean the Super Bowl? <laughs> Tuesday, Tuesday! <laughs> yeah! Yeah. Yeah. We're we doing that because we're American footballers? Yes, because we're American footballers. Yeah. Okay, welcome to another episode of Tuesday Newsday. Yay! We have so much to cover on our episode this week, but we're super excited about American football. Not because we know how to play American football, because every year with American football, how many times can I say American football? American football, <laughs> we, you get all the trailers, all the new trailers that kind of exclusively for the, this American Super Bowl. They look um, so excited. There are so many cool new yeah. ones. We've seen new footage from Wolverine, well, Logan. We've seen Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 with another cool new soundtrack with Mini Groot. I can't wait. He's so cool. I can't wait for that. that come, that's coming out May ish time. So cool. Looking forward to that. Check all the trailers out on our YouTube page yes. and our Facebook page. We have all of them links there. We've got most of them. Hopefully, we'll have all of them by the time we finish this yeah um, do go through them if you are excited about any big blockbuster films coming out in, in this summer basically the super bowl covered them all yeah um and an owl owl an owl super an owl? Owl? owl oh yeah hashtag owl what was that about <laughs> so on twitter a few people realized that when they tried to type in super bowl their phones auto corrected it to superb owl <laughs> And so there have been some fantastic owls on Twitter, which is so much fun. Amazing. And you just need to shift the B across, and I, to be honest, I don't get this whole American football thing. I think owls are the way to go. Totally. <laughs> okay. It's been exciting for me. But one of the trailers that we saw was Stranger Things 2. We now know that Stranger Things Season 2 is coming out in October for Halloween. There's a picture, hopefully I'll put it up now, with the, the kids in their little Ghostbusters outfits. That's so much later than we thought it was going to be, I know, though. we have to wait so long, I don't know if I can handle ah. it. We'll just have to watch the first season upside down. Yeah. Ups upside down. <laughs> yeah. I can't do it. We'll have to watch the first season again. Yeah. Um, not that's that that's a hardship. Yeah. Also, on Netflix at the moment, there's Santa Clarita's Diet. Um, we're eight episodes in so far. We're loving it. It's super gory. Cool takes a couple of episodes to get into but check out on Sunday we're releasing um, Kay's recipes for disaster episode 2 um, and there's gonna be a link directly from that so if you like your gore and you like your kind of zombie stuff she's gonna do something I believe I wonder what she's gonna do cuz yeah. like there's so much potential there right there is there's, so there's much. a lot of blood in the show a lot of dead people and Limbs, it's, it? it's, yeah. I know what it is. Uh, I won't spoil it, but it's, it's pretty yeah, gross. Don't ruin it, bro. It's pretty gross, uh, uh, but we're looking forward to that. So, do like check this. that out. So, here we are in awards season as well. And so last many week, I know for everything, but last week was the Hasty Pudding Awards Ooh. at Harvard, which is pretty cool. I hadn't really heard of it before, but Ryan Reynolds got the Man of the Year award. Um, and it just looks like the most fun award ceremony ever. So he had to, to claim the award, he had to go on stage and he was roasted um, by the presenters and it was just so funny to watch. He was burnt alive. <laughs> they just took the mick out of him and asked him questions and he had little challenges to do, like he had to rummage through a bin and find the green lantern. Oh, shame. Oh, buried down there with oh. their ratings for that film. <laughs> and smash it up and they gave him some cool costumes to wear and he finished in like this Deadpool bra which is just <laughs> fun. We'll stick some pictures up. So that looked like the most fun this week. Wow. I enjoyed watching that. That's crazy. Yeah. Well sticking with the um, the superhero theme going from Deadpool to Batman. Hey. Uh, Batman was talked about all over the internet this week from Ben Affleck no longer wanting to be the director of um, the next Batfleck film. And what's Batflick, you ask? Batflick is Affleck and Batman is Batflick. <laughs> um, anyway, he doesn't want to direct the film because he feels that it's taken on too much. It's just too big a task. And we think that's yeah. the right move considering how bad the last films have been. Most people yeah. would, would, would say that Batman vs Superman, uh, the one before, it's, yeah. just, it's just bad. Yeah. So who do you think? Who would you like to direct? 
to, I'm not actually sure. I can't say I'm an expert on directors. I think it'll be really interesting to find out. Yeah, I mean, we think that it, it would be someone that can really do dark well, yeah. but actually can handle big, big budget. That's not phased yeah. by, you know, the world of Batman or, or DC. So we think someone like Antoine Fuqua who did Training Day. Maybe yeah. Shane Black, maybe bring Shane Black back from, you know, for the Lethal Weapons. Those were amazing in their heyday. Could could he do something now that would just go... Wah. And Ben Affleck seems to be looking for someone to team with on this one, rather than someone to take over the directing. So that will be really interesting to see who he chooses to work with on that. Mm, you mentioned the directors of Stranger Things. That could be that really interesting. That would be really fun. And they've done so well, surely now they they would be given the opportunity. Yeah. Maybe, it... Batman versus Demi Gorgon. Yeah. And that's a film I that's would watch. That's a film we watch. Come <laughs> on. Yeah, a little, little in between season yeah. two of Stranger Things, yeah. Batman fights the Demi We see Batman as the great detective. Batman goes Amazing. to the upside down world. That'd be so cool. <sighs> that needs to be made. If you think so, comment below. You heard it first here, guys. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll patent that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, keeping with Batman, we're now going to Lego Batman! Yay! So we got the opportunity to watch this over the weekend. It comes out worldwide coming this coming weekend. Yeah. Um, we were uh, super excited, but kind of a little worried as well because the last Lego movie was phenomenal. Everything was awesome. It was awesome. It was <laughs> that song was so annoyingly catchy. I love that film. So we did go in kind of a little worried, but actually you don't need to be worried. There are so many great things about the Lego Batman movie. Yeah. For one, it's Will Arnett reprising his role as Batman. <laughs> um, there are so many bad guys that you just don't expect to be in this film that have no real reason apart from they're in the universe. Not in the Batman universe, but they're in the universe. I'll, I'll give you a little spoiler. Um, Voldemort? Yeah, he's in it. You didn't see that one uh, coming. You would have put Batman and Voldemort together, but he's in it. There are so many other guys that make this film so unique and the gags just keep rolling on. The jokes are so fast and furious that you probably need to watch it two or three times over. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. So good. That's so cool. It's worth your money for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then back to Marvel. With the cast for The Runaways has been released last week. Mm -hmm. um, it is a film that we've... not a film. It's a TV show on Hulu that we've known about for a while. Um, but it's really exciting to hear who they've picked for the main characters. So you may not have heard of The Runaways, it is a lesser known Marvel comic book series. Mm. But basically it's a group of teenagers, I know, that's what's been lacking from the Marvel films <laughs> so far, right? Yeah. All the grown ups totally. having their fun with their superpowers and this is where the kids are hanging out. They find out, sort of by accident, that their parents are actually a group of supervillains. And then they run away, hence the name, and save the world. And there's a lot of, um, of possibilities for crossovers here. Um, a couple of the kids are actually mutants, um, and so they do fit into that whole universe. And there's a point in the comic books where they actually call the Avengers for help. <laughs> Um, at, in the comic book, they get through to the voicemail. So who's on speed dial? Do you think Iron Man, <laughs> the Hulk, yeah, Hulk smash? I don't know. Well, in in the comics, they just get the voicemail. So yeah. it would be really fun to to see if there is any crossover there. It's, um, we just heard that Doctor Who is not going to be Doctor Who anymore. So we're heading for um, another regeneration. Mm. I know, that crazy. That's my regeneration thing. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know. Is, isn't it more like a? It's more like shiny white light, like yeah. 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 yeah, so so um so after the Christmas special we'll be looking for a new doctor. And it's really exciting that a lot of people are putting women on their wish list. Mm. So we're hoping that it might be a female doctor next time. Meryl Streep. So much fun. She should be the new doctor. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, she'd be an amazing doctor. <laughs> I love that she's on your list. I have not seen her name puff up yet. Meryl and Street. why not? <laughs> you heard it, yeah. Meryl Streep is the new Doctor Who. Yeah. yeah. It's official now. I know, I know some of my friends would hate that. They, 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 they yeah. probably Tell don't. all your friends you saw it on the internet, <laughs> Meryl Streep. <laughs> they go and uh, uh, protest at the Trump Towers. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why the Trump Towers. Everybody's Trump protesting there at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... Um, if, if it's not the Doctor that you want, just blame Donald. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably to blame. Yeah. Anyway, no politics. Yeah. So... New Doctor, when's that happening after Christmas? After, after Christmas, Christmas special. So we got the Christmas special, 
and then for the next season after that. So maybe next year, but you never know, these things tend to take a little bit longer than yeah, that, don't they? they so do. It Especially might be a while in, in, in actually, Britain, where we yeah. like to do really short seasons and wait like yeah. years and years. We've like, got one season sure. later on this year, and then the Christmas special, and then New Doctor. Cool. So, so yeah. it could, we're looking for a new lady, hopefully. We hope, yeah. Possible. Yeah, or potentially a Doctor of Colour. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Could we go alien? Like an alien female Doctor See, of Colour? See, this, this is also a theory, right? Like, mm. that, could, that could totally work. But I think it's probably unlikely. Yeah. I think not that's that brave. maybe a little bit too progressive for us at this point. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we have to take it in stages. Yeah. Baby let's steps. Go for a woman first. <laughs> Little baby who is And then step into, you know, alien species. Yeah. Okay. Maybe one day. Well, I think that is our show. That's all we've yes. got time for. Thank you so That's much cool. for watching a Tuesday Newsday. Yay. We're going to obviously give you a new episode of Tuesday Newsday next week. We've also got K Sunday's Recipe for Disaster, as we said, coming up. We've also, hopefully, we'll get a Friday, Friday, Netflix Friday? Yeah. Yeah. We've got a pretty cool episode coming up for that. So stay tuned cool. on Friday. If you haven't seen um, some of the films that we mentioned, we'll put links below. You can check them out. Deadpool. Um, get a subscription to Netflix to watch Stranger Things if you haven't. Yeah. It's only, I think, £7 if you're in the UK. And we'll yeah. put all the other links that we mentioned to. Also, I'll put a link to uh, Ryan Reynolds' uh, bra. Yeah. Um, it's totally been... worth watching. <laughs> The internet has been crazy this week. We have super fun telling you guys about it. Hope you are getting something out of this. Let us know if we can make it better or change it in any way. Whether I should shave off my beard. I won't do that, but you can at least ask. <laughs> um, if I should shave off my beard. Yeah. Grow a beard, maybe? Grow a beard? Yeah. We could give you a fake beard. <gasps> that would really be cool. like a long wizard one. Wow. Yeah, yeah um, ne next week that'll be our news. Yeah, tell us whether Gemma should wear a wizard beard. Yeah, that'd be fun. All right, thanks for watching. Yeah. Bye. 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 We should do a slipper shot. Oh yeah. Yeah. Can it. we do? Can, are we? We can take them off. <laughs> it's not as cool if you take them off though. But I can't reach my leg that high. <laughs> well, maybe I can. Maybe Let's I can try. kick it. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> <Can> it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was there for a second. <laughs> we need to do it together. Oh no, he's okay. already doing it. Okay. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, if you're still watching, you'll probably think we're in this. But we have cool flippers, huh? <laughs>